Hey there guys, in today's video we're going to change the air filter on a Jeep Cherokee. Specifically, this is a 2019 model. The Jeep Cherokee I have here is the Latitude model and this is the air filter that I found for it. Uh, so if you need to pause, uh, this is the uh, model number of the air filter and I will leave a link for this down in the comments below also if you're curious. And this is the 2.4 liter engine and your air filter is going to be to the right here so you'll be able to see the housing right here. Might be hard to see on this housing, but you do have a couple of screws you will need to remove. You will need to loosen uh, the connection here. You do have a screw uh, right here behind. You have another one here. You have one right here at the top. On the side, you also have two right there. You can kind of see those there. Here's a better look at our housing here. So there are a total of uh, six screws that you'll need to take out. So you'll have one at the very top, two on the right hand side, one kind of in the back, and then you have three on this side. And then you also have to loosen uh, this one here so you can get in here. Um, you might also want to vacuum out the inside of the filter housing um, just so that there's not any extra debris in there. And then you can just simply place the new one right inside like so, and then we'll place the housing back on, screw it back in. And here is our old filter, as you can see here. And if you look in between little folds, you can see a lot of stuff stuck in there. So it was definitely ready to go. And here's our new one, as you can see, of course, nice and white and clean. All right, so there you have it. Uh, pretty simple operation if you need to replace your air filter in your Jeep Cherokee. Uh, again, simply those six screws all the way around. You, uh, I recommend a magnetic tip screwdriver so that they don't fall into the engine so you can kind of get them out. Um, and then you also want to loosen uh, this piece here so you can allow this to come out completely. And then of course, once you take out the filter, vacuum out the inside a little bit if you can, and then place the new filter, replace the housing, screw those back in, and you're good to go. And hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.